Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna cover a topic that comes up a lot in my streams because I don't know, I use rebase workflow, so uh, you'll see me do a lot of these commands all the time. But the question is, hey, I made a mistake in a commit. How do I make it look like I didn't make a mistake or how do I fix this up? Um, so I'm gonna explain this. A word of warning, we're gonna be editing git history today, which is a destructive uh, operation, so I would strongly suggest watching the reflog video, which I'll link below, uh, which shows you how to fix things if things go poorly. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so we're gonna be working with a repo um, where <laughs> I store a bunch of just like random junk for you know code that I write, uh, and I've I've already made a mistake, and I'm gonna show you how I would fix that mistake. Um, <laughs> I've already fixed it on master, but in a completely different way. And um, yeah, let's let's just show that. So if we do a git log here, you'll notice that I made this commit here where I wanted to disable tap completion for a particular git command um, because I use git, git, and then tab to do my like GitHub special aliases. But um, before I disabled git, git, k, it would try and tab complete this command, which actually doesn't exist. There is no git, git, k command. It's, it's a bug in git. Um, but if you look at this patch here, you'll see that I accidentally committed something else that's unrelated to this patch, <laughs> which um, was was a joke that I had put together on stream where chat was like, uh, you should get good. And I was like, oh, I bet I could make that a command. And so I made get good a command that just printed lol, why are you so bad? I don't know why. But anyway, I didn't intend to commit this. So let me show you how I would go about editing this commit so that it doesn't contain this, this contents. Um, so I'm gonna show you this in three different ways. The first one is just like the easiest if it was the previous commit. Uh, we're gonna go over situations where it's not the previous commit or you've already made a separate commit to fix it and you wanna fix that up that way. Uh, so the easiest way is to just modify that file. And so we're gonna get rid of this get good alias. And if we do git status now, git status, you'll see that we have git config modified. And if we do git log, the previous commit is the one that we want to fix up. And so what we can do here is uh, git add dash u, or I mean, you could do git add git config, either way, dash u will add all files that are, that have been staged before, but are modified. Um, so it's kind of, this is kind of a better way to do git add dot basically, but unrelated to this video. Uh, so you'll do git add dash u, and then you'll use git commit dash dash amend. And what amend will do is it'll take all of these changes and meld them into the previous commit. Um, and by default, git will prompt you to edit the commit message if you need to, but in this case, we don't need to. You'll see that you know it popped up the commit message thing here. I'm just gonna quit that. And uh, now if we look at that commit, you'll see that we are just doing the one thing that we wanna do here. We're no longer you know, uh, <laughs> adding git good accidentally. So that's the first scenario when it's just the previous commit. Now, uh, word of warning again, I have changed the history here. So if you're working on a feature branch and you try to push, Git will complain that it's no longer a fast forward push uh, because any hit history edit will you know, make that a thing. So you'll have to force push if you're editing history, which is also why reflog is a good thing because <laughs> it allows you to go back to before you edited the history. All right, let's CD into Scratch 2 and we'll show you the second scenario. Which scenario was this one? Uh, okay, so this is one where I've actually made another commit after this commit, and we want to actually go back in time and edit this commit. And so what I'm going to do here is a rebase, um, and we're going to do an interactive rebase, which is kind of the chainsaw of git commands, because it lets you do all sorts of things, and if you're very, very careful, it will do great things, but if you're wrong, you'll chop off your arm, so <laughs> gotta be gotta be very careful there. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this commit, this is the one we want to edit, and then we're gonna run git rebase dash i. We're gonna paste that commit, and then we're gonna put a caret after it. Uh, this is shorthand in git for um, the commit before this sha here. So the, the caret is one before. Uh, you can also you know chain the caret, so you can put a bunch of carrots here to do whatever, six, six before? Yeah. Uh, we're only gonna do one before here, and we're gonna press enter. You can also just manually grab the commit before it. Uh, that's another way you can do it, but. I, I usually like to paste the actual commit and use the caret instead. And this will open up an editor, and this is where you've you've entered rebase mode. And the, it's a little bit overwhelming here. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, fortunately, Git kind of gives you a little cheat sheet about what you need to do here. And in our case, we're going to leave this uh, this 
specific no QA commit alone, because that's the one we don't want to change. But we're going to edit this commit up here. And so we're going to change the word pick to edit. And you'll see edit here is use the commit, but stop for amending. So basically, it'll re rewind the history, and then it'll play back the commits one at a time. And if we just do pick, it'll just automatically commit that commit. Uh, but if we do edit, it will stop and give us a chance to modify that commit. And so we're going to do edit, and then we're going to save and exit this. We'll do quit y, enter. Uh, and you'll see now, if we do get status, it'll say that we're inside of an interactive rebase. And if we do get log, you'll see that it has just committed this disable tab completion command here. And so that gives us a chance to do what we did with the first commit, which is to you know, edit this file and save that, add that file, and git commit dash dash amend in the same way that we would do before. Now I'm actually gonna do a different flag here so that hopefully you'll learn something else. There's a no edit command. This will prevent the editor from showing up. And um, you know, if you don't need to change the commit message, you'll just use dash dash no edit. And so that will just perform that commit. And then once we've done that commit, we will continue with the rebase. You'll do git rebase dash dash continue. I do plan to do another video entirely on rebase. So this is just like a quick intro to it. Um, it's a lot more complicated. And you, can, you can do some pretty fancy stuff with it. But we're going to do git rebase dash dash continue. And now if we look at the log, you'll see that we still have these two commits that we have here. Uh, but this commit now no longer has this git good in there. So we've, we've managed to edit this commit. <clears throat> so that's the second scenario. And now let's go to the third scenario. And um, <clears throat> I have doctored the history of all three of these branches. I actually used rebase to do all of these examples, but <laughs> that's, that's for another day. Uh, in this case, the third scenario, you'll see that I actually uh, already fixed this commit, but I did it with a separate commit. And you'll see this commit here. We do scratch three, git show this, you'll see that I made a separate commit to remove this, but maybe I wanted to just like make it, make myself pretend like I had never done this at all. Now, in reality, I had already pushed this before I realized that I added this, so that's why this commit is separate, because usually it's not a good idea to re rewrite the history of a master branch. Uh, but let's, let's show how I would do this as well, and we're also going to be using rebase again, so you'll copy this commit, the one that we want, and we'll get we'll get rebase dash i this with a caret, so one commit before. And rebase actually allows us to reorder and move and merge commits together. Um, so you'll see here that we have this this oops commit and we have this one. So it, it goes you know downwards in time. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to reorder this commit. Uh, so now these commits look like they're side by side. And we're going to change pick to either squash or fix up. Both of these allow you to meld two commits together. Squash gives you a chance to change the commit message. We actually don't care about the commit message here. Uh, so we're just going to use fix up. You can also use prefix matching here. So you can just do F. Uh, so I'm going to fix up these two commits. So these two commits will get melded into one and this commit will remain the same. Again, this is where rebase can be super complicated. So if this is over your head, don't worry so much about it. Um, but once I've made these changes to these commits here, I will just exit this and it'll say successfully rebased. It didn't give us any interactivity here uh, because we just told it what to do. We didn't have to meld or, or edit commits manually. And you'll see if we get logged now, we just have these two commits. So that one commit that I fix up is completely gone. And if we show this commit, you'll see that it no longer contains uh, anything mentioning get good. And of course, if we look at the git config, you'll see that there's no good alias here. But anyway, that's three different ways that you can modify a commit that already happened and, you know, pretend like you didn't screw things up. Uh, hopefully this was interesting. If you have additional questions you guys want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.